And we're rolling. Okay. Today's lesson, we're going to be talking about delivery. And delivery is one of those important things in public speaking that people, I always say it's, it's the marriage to a great outline and great organization. So we're going to be talking about five things today uh, with regards to making your delivery great. Uh, the first one that we're going to be talking about is your volume. And your volume is obviously how loud or how soft you speak. And I always tell my students that you want to speak at a volume that is uncomfortable. So if you feel that you are screaming at your audience, then you're probably at a very good volume. You never want to speak at the volume as which you think that there is someone, someone three uh, feet in front of you. You always want to be extra, extra loud. Uh, the best way to increase your volume is to first breathe and to speak from your gut. So I always laugh and tell my students that after a great speech with great volume, they should feel like they've done about 20 crunches in their stomach because they need to push out the air from their gut. Another good thing with volume to know is that you want to make sure your mouth is nice and open. So before I ever you know, do a speech, I always stretch out my mouth, and I know this is gonna look really silly, but I always sit there and go, ah, 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 ee, 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 oh, 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 ow, and make sure that your jaw is nice and loose in order to push out your volume. The second thing that we're gonna be talking about is your rate, and just like volume, your rate, you want to feel uncomfortably slow, uh, so with your volume, you want to feel uncomfortably loud. With your rate, you want to feel uncomfortably slow. So your rate is obviously how fast you go or how slow you speak. Now remember, your audience is getting the first shot to hear your speech. So you want to make sure that you speak nice and slow to them because they're, they're having to absorb it and listen to it and comprehend it in one shot. So make sure that if you're one that gets nervous and you brrr, go very, very fast, that instead with your rate, you want to slow it down. A good tip to remember is on my three by five cards, I'll always write because I get nervous and I'm a fast talker when I get nervous. So on my three by five cards, I will write literally the words slow down. So that way I can remind myself to talk nice and slow for my audience so they can absorb it. Another thing with your rate that you want to do, which is re relating to number three is pausing. And if you are a very fast speaker, you can create the impression that you're not going as fast as you are by simply adding in a three second pause. And a pause is not, and this is the misconception I get is, okay, let's move on to the next thing. That's not a pause. It's a nice deep breath in and deep breath out. So going on to the next thing, and that's how you want to make sure to pause. 